Gold bars, fancy dinners, envelopes of cash, and a luxury car are among the things prosecutors say Senator Bob Menendez accepted, all part of a bribery scheme. The New Jersey Democrat was indicted today, along with his wife. He's now the first senator in history to face two separate criminal indictments. Action News reporter John Paul is joining us now live from Camden with details on today's indictment. John. Yes, yeah, Sarah, this nearly 40 page indictment was just unsealed today. This outlines some serious charges of public corruption that involved the uh, Democratic senator, his wife, and three business associates from here in New Jersey. The sweeping indictment boils down to three serious charges against Senator Bob Menendez, his wife Nadine, and three business associates. Count one, conspiracy to commit bribery. Count two, conspiracy to commit honest services fraud and count three, conspiracy to commit extortion. The U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York summed up the allegations in a news conference this morning. The senator and his wife accepted hundreds of thousands of dollars of bribes in exchange for Senator Menendez using his power and influence. Stunning pictures were included in the indictment. $480,000 cash, some of it found in the senator's jacket with his name on it gold bars worth hundreds of thousands and a Mercedes Benz. The U.S. attorney says it was in exchange for Senator Menendez using his power and influence as the chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee to influence military aid to Egypt and disrupt two criminal investigations. Senator Menendez allegedly provided sensitive, non-public U.S. government information to Egyptian officials. Today, the senator released a statement saying the facts are not as presented and, quote, Prosecutors did that the last time, and look at what a trial demonstrates. People should remember that before accepting the prosecutor's version. He's referring to bribery charges that were dropped in 2017 after a jury deadlocked. Today, the director of the Rowan Institute of Public Policy and Citizenship weighed in on the charges. It's an ugly indictment. It does not paint a pretty picture. But Bob Menendez has been counted down and out before and has somehow found a way to emerge on top. Now, the New Jersey GOP is calling on Menendez to resign, at the very least, have to step down as chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee. And these charges carry a decades in prison. We're live in Camden, New Jersey. John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah. All right, we'll see where this goes. John, thank you.